Hi, I'm Nessie Ruiz, and today I'm going to show you how to record your screen using a free account with Zoom. This is a great way to get a really nice, clean screen recording with or without your webcam using a PC. There are a lot of really good programs to recording your screen for a PC. However, most of them cost money, so I like to use Zoom. Zoom is really a video conferencing program, but it does record the screen and share screen, so it's kind of perfect to use for this. What you want to do is get a free Zoom account, and that'll give you all the capabilities you need for this project. Now, please excuse me. I had to make this video on a Mac because I needed to use a different screen recorder so that I could show you how the Zoom screen recorder worked, but it should be pretty similar on a PC. So you'll need to have a Zoom account and you'll need to have the desktop app. So once you've got that, make sure you're signed in, go into your settings first. Uh, it's a great idea just to go through all of your settings. If you go into video settings, there I am, uh, pick your settings here. Then uh, I like to enable my HD video um, and I like to touch up my appearance. Why not? It's just gonna smooth your skin out a little bit. Just go through any other settings here you might wanna have turned on. Then go into recording and take a look at those settings. At the top, it'll give you the option of where to save your file. This folder is fine for me. You can press open and select a new folder if you wanna save them somewhere else. Some of these are just preference as well. I don't really like to record a separate audio file for each person, so I click that off. I do like to have on the optimize for third-party video editor so that I can make some adjustments to my videos before I post them. And I do like to put the record video during screen share. So this will give you the option of having your webcam on recording your face while also recording the screen. So you can sort of control that. If you put that on by default, it can give you the option later when you're recording. So I can show you how to do that. I like to leave on the record video during screen sharing. That means that if I have my webcam on and I'm sharing my face, it'll also record that. And then I like to click this on so that if I'm sharing my screen and sharing my webcam, which is my face, then when in the recording, my face will be on the side on the right. So I can show you how to do that. Okay, once you've got your settings, just click out of there and go ahead and start a meeting. You can start a meeting all by yourself just to do your screen recording. There I am again. Okay, so I'm going to turn off my video because I want to use the entire screen for my screen record. I don't want to take up space with my webcam. So I'm going to show you that first. So I'm going to turn off my video. Then what I'm going to do is first I'm going to press record. And then once I see it's recording, I'm going to go ahead and press share screen. Then you'll have to select what you're sharing. I'm going to share my desktop and press share. And it's going to just show me my desktop here. I'll still have my zoom controls at the bottom. And I can do whatever I like so I can go into Firefox or, you know, whatever I'm going to share. I'm going to close that. When I'm done, you want to stop the screen share first and then stop the recording. The recording is going to be converted to an MP4 once the meeting ends. So I'm going to go ahead and end my meeting and then let it process the file. I have it set to open the folder when it's done, so it's gonna do that. There it is. So here are my files. The one I want is the MP4. That's got the video and the audio. And I'm gonna open that and show you. So I'll want to trim this part off. And then once I see it's recording, and that's me, so it's gonna kinda just show your picture. And once it goes into the screen record, I'm gonna make my video large so you can see the entire video is my screen recording, which means I'm getting a really nice big recording of my screen. First. Okay, that's how that looks. Now I'm gonna do it again, but I'm gonna do it with my webcam on so you can see the difference. So I'm gonna go back into Zoom. I'm going to make a new meeting. I'm going to leave my webcam on this time. I'm going to press record. And then I'm going to share my screen. Select that I'm going to share my desktop. Press share. 
And same thing here, so I can go into Firefox <laughs> or Chrome or wherever I'm gonna go, whatever. Oh, that's funny, here's Adele. But just go ahead and share your screen, do whatever recording you want. You'll see yourself here, um, and that'll be in the recording. So once I'm done, I'm gonna press stop share again, and I'm gonna press end recording. And I'm gonna end my meeting and let my file tr process. It's gonna go pretty quickly since it's a very short video, but obviously this takes longer if you're recording something longer. So here's my other one. You'll see that in this folder, it basically will make a new folder for every recording and it's got the date and time on it but all the files are called zoom zero so when I click on this one again I'm gonna maximize this so you can see the, just this video on my screen and when I press play and then I'm just gonna mute this um, there's me and then once it goes into the screen sharing it's gonna put my webcam up on the top right hand corner so it's nice uh, when you want to sort of show your face and have that connection with your audience, but I like to have it off when I'm trying to just maximize the size of the video so that it takes up the whole screen. If this video has been helpful for you, you can thank me by giving me a thumbs up and hitting that like button and watch my next video.